All right, let's uh, bring in Sevens Report Research Founder, Tom Essay. Tom, you just heard, always good to speak with you. You just heard the doctor speak. Um, this is the situation with the pandemic is not getting any better. States are starting to close down. You have the market closing out the second quarter, uh, really one heck of a rally. Do you just think the market is overextended? Hi, Brian. Thank you very much for having me on. Uh, yeah, in the short term, absolutely. I mean, we've seen a huge move in the second quarter. And and to be fair, it's it's been driven by a lot of positivity, right? If we think about where we were at the end of March, we've come a long way, not just uh, with the virus, even though we're seeing a, a rebound now, we've made some major progress there. And then also the economy is starting to bounce back. But in the near term, you have a market that's, that's really... Um, I don't want to say it's priced for perfection, but it's a bit complacent because, as the doctor just said, the virus count is rising again. That, at a minimum, is going to delay the economic reopening, and, and markets have to price that in a bit. And I think that there's a bit more for, for that to happen, at least to churn sideways or a further dip. Hey, Tom. It's good to see you here. Uh, we've seen the city economic surprise indicator just shoot to record highs in a very short period of time. We got the uh, payrolls report on Thursday. Do you see any kind of slowdown in the data? If that were to materialize, what effect would that have on markets, given that the market is almost accustomed to these big surprises now to the upside? Yeah, hi, Jared. Uh, you know, it's it's the City Economic Surprise Index. You have to remember that's, that's basically, it, it compares what the actual data is versus what the expectation was. And we are in a whole new world of trying to model what data is going to be, because there's not an economist in the world that's ever gone through a forced economic shutdown. And that's why a lot of these numbers are completely blowing past what the expectation is. Now, as economies pause on their reopenings, should we expect to see that that data you know, come in a bit? Absolutely. And we also have to remember that while data may look great month over month from you know May to April or June to May, go look at it 12 months prior. It looks horrible even with the increases. So I think that's something that, that investors need to, to make sure they realize, especially for, uh, on Thursday, you're gonna see a blowout jobs report, but just remember, we're still gonna be net negative 10 million plus jobs over the next three months. The one counter to that is that there's tremendous government stimulus. And as long as that stimulus stays active, then the, the true reality of the economic pain isn't really gonna filter through the markets. All right, Tom, stick around. We're going to have you back uh, later on the show. Appreciate those early insights, though. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.